Hey, what's up? It's Snow. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting the UK's Crucimanium's Paradise in Venom 7 inch on Profound Lore Records. I know this sold out fast as fuck, but Hell's Headbangers had copies last time I checked. So if you're looking for this, check it out. This time I decided to throw on the title track, Paradise Envenomed. I played the Absu cover last week, I think. So fucking good. I can't wait to hear their follow up to Charnel Passages. And this is just a great teaser. And speaking of teasers, I want to talk about this little digi 3 inch CD that comes with Pig Destroyer's Book Burner Massive Digi Pack. And that is the Blind, Death, and Bleeding 3-inch EP. 7-inch, I'm not sure if it's released on a 7-inch on the vinyl version. As I do not have it, but you have some beautiful fucking artwork here. And they made the 3-inch disc fucking playable in a car stereo, which is awesome. Because... My band did a 3-inch, and I had to put a warning on it not to play it in the car. And, you know, it's for at-home listening only. I really dig that the people at Relapse thought ahead and actually made this audible in your automobile. And threw this killer fucking artwork on top as well. Great stuff. And it incorporates itself amazingly with the rest of book burner fucked great stuff here but seriously you have pig destroyer covering the following seven songs you have black flags depression the misfits wolf's blood the angry samoans with lights out which is to me such a big fucking surprise and it sounds so goddamn good one of my favorite punk songs as a kid. Can't Tell No One by Negative Approach. Deny Everything by The Circle Jerks. Another song I grew up on. Same with Betray by Minor Threat. And Closing Things Off is a void cover. Who are you? Wow. I love Pig Destroyer and them doing a bunch of punk rock covers. Wow. And hardcore, it's, it's fucking amazing. I wish there was more of this. I mean, I know that Book Burner is a lot more or less, like, it has a lot more punky edges to it. Where some of their earlier stuff was, you know, like, grindcore with more of a political agenda lyrically. And then JR got into, you know some more emotional territory and whatnot with like Prower in the Yard and shit. But if you check out their early material and whatnot, you, you could see the difference lyrically. And it all stems from this original, you know, punk sound that they were adding to their grindcore assault. And I love Pig Destroyer. They're one of those bands I feel kind of can do no wrong. And I know that's, a, that's biased. But I really do believe that. And this is a pure example of it. Blind Death and Bleeding. This is so fucking good. I really, really need to pick up all the Pig Destroyer records on vinyl. I have them all on CD. But, man, I really, really love this little, little, little taste of a punk rock Pig Destroyer. It's just amazing sounding. Scott Hull is the fucking riff master. JR sounds great. Oh man, this is just one of those things that I've been meaning to go over. I know I mentioned it a long time ago when I did the book burner review, but I don't even think I did a review. I think I was just going over Pig Destroyer's discography and picking out my favorites and whatnot. One day I'll go over book burner front to back, but I want to go over this bonus disc today. Kind of have a family emergency, but at the same time, I really want you guys and girls to listen to this because it's fucking great. It's quick. 
And if you're in a bad mood or if shit, you know, is going kind of not your way, it's a great little listen to, you know, cheer you up and especially lights out by the angry Samoans. What a fucking sick choice of a punk rock song to cover. Because the original is just so upbeat, catchy, and just hearing Pig Destroyer, you know, take the realms of the, I mean, take the reins of that song and fucking make it their own is an amazing task. And it just sounds great, along with the rest of these cover tracks. They're all amazing. All seven of them, especially the Misfits cover of Wolf's Blood's great as well. But. I love the Angry Samoans cover on here, it's just so fucking sick sounding. And again, you could play this 3 inch in your car and not worry about it getting eaten up. So I'm not sure if this exists in 7 inch format or not, I did not do research. I just know it does come with the um, pretty much I guess this is the the deluxe uh, digipack version of Book Burner, but it's a great listen, and yeah, like I'm saying, if you want to hear Pig Destroyer playing some awesome punk rock covers, check it out. Blind, Death, and Bleeding, part of the Book Burner special digipack, and I'm sure it comes with the vinyl as well, probably as a 7-inch, but like I said... I did not check, but you're going to love it. I just wanted to share it with you guys real quick. But, yeah, my dad had to go to the hospital, so I was just like, fuck. I'm here by myself. I'm going to Municipal Waste, Nails, Shit Fucker, and fucking Macabre tonight to clear my mind. It needs to be cleared, and I don't know what better way to clear it than going to a metal show. I know that, that sounds weird, but I've done this before, and it, it's seriously, it's one of those things that really, really does help on a personal level. Just clearing your mind completely of all the bullshit, going to a show, and just for a couple hours, you know, you don't have to worry about real life. It's just you, the bands, and everybody else that's there to have a good fucking time and see some killer fucking bands play some awesome tunes especially tonight tonight's lineup is amazing even though it's at one of my least favorite venues in philly it's going to be a great time i love seeing municipal waste live i love seeing nails live i haven't seen macabre since 2004 so this is a big like i'm stoked and it's time to get to the bottom of shit fucker are they just trolling? I, I'm not sure, but we'll find out maybe. But I want to try to score an interview maybe with Tony. Or uh, if I can, if I run into Todd Jones, I, uh, I don't know. Fingers crossed here, but I want to try to score an interview tonight somehow, some way. But I didn't hit up anybody's management or anything. and I don't. It, there's a lot other shit going on right now. But I just want to do my best to distract myself and at the same time be there if I'm needed to be there. So, yeah, family first. And that's the way it's been for the past two years. And, yeah, at least I know I'm doing the right thing at the end of the day. And sorry this was a little short one, but I really, really want you guys to check out how badass this fucking release is. And Book Burner in general is a great album by Pig Destroyer, but this bonus disc, Blind Death and Bleeding, just really, really sticks out to me as something that is special and is definitely worth checking out. Even digitally, like I said, it's really, really quick. It's one of those blink and you miss it, but you're going to be replaying this over and over and over again, especially if you grew up with these songs, just getting to hear them in a different way. It's always interesting when you hear cover songs because sometimes they are butchered, <coughs> Celtic Frost, Mexican Radio, and sometimes they sound fucking amazing. Example, Angry Samoans, Lights Out, Pig Destroyer, Blind Death and Bleeding. 
giving this a fucking 10 out of 10 just for what it is. A little quick punk rock covers bonus disc that is amazing. And I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you did not know it existed. This also comes with a short story by JR, The Atheist. This is a great little package here. And I'm sure the vinyl package is massive and definitely worth your time. But that's seven tracks of awesome punk rock covers by Pig Destroyer. Get into it. And we are playing some Crucimenum, <laughs> Crucimenium, Paradise and Venomed, the title track on their new 7-inch on Profound Lore Records. If this is an indication of what's to come with their new material... Holy fucking shit. The UK death metal scene. Yeah. Killing it right now. Crucimenium. Paradise and Venomed. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your guys' support. You all fucking rule. And I hope you guys enjoy this shit. Links will be below. Hells.